Hi guys! Sometimes we might have to add PoE devices that are thousands of feet away. But we all know there's a distance limitation of 328 feet in PoE technology. So the installation becoming complicated because we have to add all kind of extension tool to achieve the long range setup. But of course, there are also many ways you can choose from. But make sure you choose the most effective way. Today we received a case from one of our customers. Let's see what happened. Our customers has a switch with the NVR in the main control room. And at 340 feet away, there's another PoE switch because it has to add cameras. The cameras will be 700 feet away by the elevator. So he's thinking to add a PoE extender but not sure if he can put one PoE extender at the second switch and then an other PoE extender at the camera end. Now in this video, I'm going to sort it out for our customers and provide the most effective way. And if you have any trouble with your system design, please feel free to contact us through the link down in the description box below. Send us some simple drawing or diagram and we'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you for completely free of charge. So PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It can transmit both power and data through a single Ethernet cable. PoE has a limitation because the power that transmitted over the Ethernet cable decreases as the distance between the power source and the device increases. The decrease in power is due to the resistance of the cable and also the power loss that occur during the transmission in electrical energy. Now if the distance between your device and the main power source is too great, that means your device may not get enough power to operate. So in this case, we can use PoE extender, also known as the PoE repeater. The PoE extender can boost up the power and the data transmission. And this is what our customers are thinking too. But in this way, we have to bury two PoE extenders under the ground. And actually, we have a better method. So that's why we suggest our customers to use a long-range PoE switch instead. So let's move on to the demonstration board and see how to set up. So here we are in front of the demonstration board. Behind me is the whole setup. Since we don't want to bury any PoE extender, that's why we choose to use the long range PoE switch. This is a device that combines the functionality of a traditional PoE switch with the ability to transmit both power and data over a single Ethernet cable for extended distance, which is up to 1,600 feet. So there's no extender needed in between. Now it can provide fast speed. The connected PD can receive up to 100 megabit per second. So it can meet the 4K IP camera stable video stream. It is compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF, AT and BT standard. And each of the port can supply up to 30 watts of power. So without saying, let's do the connection together. So let's do the connection from here. You can see the router is already connected to our NVR and monitor. And the image will show up later on after we connect it with the IP camera. Now I'm going to use a short patch cord here to connect our router with the long range PoE switch. Those two are the data of link port. Let's plug it here. We can see this long range PoE switch has four ports, but only one and two ports are PoE long range port and three and four port are ordinary PoE port. So I'm going to use the ethernet cable here to connect with port number one for long range distance. Now we have two row of ethernet cable here. This is 300 meter and this is another 100 meter. So I'm going to use the coupler to join them together. This is just a simple coupler to extend the ethernet cable. All right. So let's come over to the end side. Now, 
For long-range PoE switch, they can send the signal and the power up to 1,600 feet. But then this camera is just an ordinary camera. That's why at this end, we have to add a PoE extender in order to send back the data to the main router. So here we are going to use the Ethernet cable to connect in this port and then using another short patch cord here to connect with the extender. And you can put the extender as close as you can with your IP camera so you don't have to bury this. Now I can hear the sound clicking so it should have image come up shortly. And if you want to add another camera, you also have to add another extender with it at the end. Let's see here. I think the image is showing up. And let's give it a high. This is a live video. So the whole setup is done. Here are some more tips for you. Make sure you add PoE extender for each long range link at the end. And then use a pure copper cable like the Cat5e or Cat6. And then avoid daisy chain PoE switch. That means don't chain up your PoE switch one by one because it might generate latency. And last but not least, if you want to work with a non-PoE device, you can use a PoE splitter to have power and data. And if you have a long range setup, you can consider to use the fiber optic cable because fiber optic cable has high speed, low latency, and can provide the distance up to 80 kilometers. So here's a video on how to use the fiber optic cable to connect IP cameras. And thank you so much for watching us today. And I'll see you next time.